Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nova Factory, ETC EU Hard Mode. Alright, so here we are today in episode 92. Now last episode we were working on the fusion reactor crafting, the controllers and all that. And I, well I had to take care of that, I had, I have made everything for the fusion reactor. And in doing so there was a bit of issues. Um, I think I suspect what was going on was the fact that our some of these AE2 craft towers, the fact that they were out of chunk boundaries or they were in and out of two boundaries was a reason why they were dropping crafts. Because I would wait for the controller to finish crafting or the fusion casings to finish crafting and I would log off the game, come back later, and the and the craft is just gone. There's no items. Everything's gone, deleted. So eventually I just got tired of it and cheated in the item, the finished product, because I knew the items were gone. So yeah, I, I hope it's fixed now. I'm also hoping, and, I, and I'm really confused on this part, because the assembly line... Well, I haven't had that many issues with it so far. It's always been said to not build it within two chunks. That being said, I've always built my assembly lines over two chunks. And I've had practically not that many issues with it. Right? So I'm wondering if I'm going to have to migrate the assembly line here over one chunk. In fact, if I build another one of these, I'm going to build it so that the controller block is in the main chunk and not in its own chunk. But... That's the issue for a different matter. But the issue for a different day. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so I went ahead and I did build the ring, and there is this little wall here. Let's go ahead and bust down this wall and see what awaits us. The fusion ring is completed, as you can see here. Um, yeah, so it's all good to go. Everything is plugged. Well, not everything plugged in, but but the ring is built. And you can see it's using glass in some of the blocks. Um, yeah, so I guess that's kind of a way to save on resources with not having to make fusion casings as much. Because remember, fusion casings were pretty expensive. Where was the item? Oh, stop. There it is. Yeah, so as you can see, it takes a quill. And it takes a pump. And, well, the reflectors aren't that bad, but the coil themselves is more tritium, more neobium, titanium, and all that. Alright, so, that's all done now. So what this means is that we can start making your opium. However, uh, okay, so, yeah, we do, yeah, we do need LUV power, that's not a big surprise. We do need to feed it power, though, and... There are 16 energy hatches, however, we're only going to be needing to feed four of these, right? So, from here, we need to figure out where our power line is at. Alright, so it looks like... Let's see. We might need to feed a whole line... through the middle here and then over here so if i were to say actually what y level are we at down here 46 okay so if i come down here and say diggy dig oh uh i mean much i just need a cobblestone All right sure so then we'll come out here Right, and let's see, where are we now? Okay, so come over here then. 46, there we go. Oh, I went too far again. Okay, no worries, I can just fix that up. Right there. Okay, but we need to raise the roof. There we go. Okay, so that should work. Um, oh yeah, right here. So here is where we need to be. Alright, so and with that, it doesn't really matter if I orientate these blocks this way, it's just a 
personal preference. Righto, so we're going to need Signalum, I'm pretty sure, yes. We are going to need quite a... We don't need that much, but we'll go with 10. We have the Signalum for it. Not like we're going to be waiting for it to craft up. I mean, smelt up. But we've been building it way for, obviously, it to be wired out. Mm. Okay, so, sorry about that. I'm going to drink my drink there. So while we wait for that, we should also make a converter. Uh, we already have a 16 one there, so that's fine. I was going to say we should just maybe use a 4 amp. And honestly, that would have been fine too. I could have just broke down the 16s into 4s and that would have been cool. Uh, are those connected, all of them? Yeah, it looks like they are. Okay. So, boom. Boom. And actually, that was perfect amount. So we don't need that much. But now we need to connect these all up together. And that should be good, I think. Looks like it. Yeah, all right. So, boom, boom. And we'll get our wrench out. Okay, so how do we want to wire conduit? I imagine we want to go right down the middle here. Oh, let me just expand this a little bit. There we go. Uh, so... Here is the conduit, and I think this is where we're going to want to dig. Oh, hello. Yep, perfect, got it. All right, cool. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do this, but we're also going to just be, you know, um, covering it up later. Um... I will at some point need to get the draconium and enderium supply back up because I only did the supply just to get all the conduits that I needed to upgrade the base, you know? So that is a thing to look out for for me. Oop, hello. What that there? All right. Boom, 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 boom. All right, cool. So that should be getting powered. Power, yes. Uh, what's the controller saying? Okay, so it's getting power. It's going to slowly build up all the power. I wonder, does that mean that... No, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's going to get power. And now, honestly, I think we can start looking at... Melting down the fluids that we're going to need to make the Europium. So let's go ahead and get two extractors here. Now, to make a Europium, we're going to need hydrogen... Well, I guess I only needed one extractor. And neodymium. How much... What's our neodymium supply look like? Uh, can we... Can we... No, we can't melt down dust. That's what I feared. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, can you arc furnace this? Wait, what am I doing? Let me do this. Melt... No, uh, oh, beans. Okay, so we do need to blast furnace this. Okay, um, I guess we could make a dedicated blast furnace for it. Because, well, the Europium, we're not going to really need all that much. Well, we kind of do, really. Well, each of the crystal chips is only going to need like 16th of an ingot. Hmm. Let me do a little thinky thinky here. Let's see. What's that terminal? Uh, let me do pause here so I can set this up and save some time. Okay, we're back. So, oop. Uh, should I unpause on the recipe page? Okay, so I was thinking maybe about 64 buckets of the stuff. Um, because we still kind of want to start looking at plasmas for power generation right we're going to need tritium and deuterium and these all we have no problem whatsoever question is though i don't know how much plasma we can really deal with i mean the, well hold on we get 125 buckets from one fuse and from that we get about Two hundred and fifty seconds worth of power. 
about four minutes of power off of one use. So, you know, and that's assuming that it's using the power as it's burning it, you know, because uh, I think the turbines and the generators will like only work if there's a draw of power demand. But in any case, uh, we do need to get the Europium though. So let's get that taken care of. Okay, so we do. I did request some neodymium to be extracted or to be smelted and it's honestly going to take a bit of time so why don't I just go ahead and get this stuff ready to go um I guess we're also going to need a tank to hold the neodymium right and faces we got an item or fluid we got an item and then we're going to need a bus Get that bus. Okay, wait, do I have the tank? Yeah, okay. Let's go down here. We'll set this up first because I've come to realize that you don't really even need the fluid first to set this up. You can just do that. And we don't need to, we don't need to avoid anything, so that's fine. And bada boom. All right. Do I have cable on me? No, of course I don't. All right, so let's get that grabbed. All right. And that should be good to go now. All right, so let's go back up to the t uh, home. Go over here to our IV towers. And bada boom. So I've been using a lot more IV machines. I, honestly, I think it's fine. We're really at that point where power is becoming less and less of, a, less, and less of an issue. Um, all right. Because in fact, we're not even using all that much. Or we seem to be having no issues with... Um, high octane supply as it were so because i've logged in a couple days now and i've all i've always seen there to be high octane gas okay neodym to fluid all right okay so that should be going good for us neo wait did i hold on did i set i don't think i oops i don't think i ejected the fluid no, no i didn't okay there we go so back home again and neo dim so we got six buckets worth now if i were to start flowing that into the machine how okay i think that should work because we it will take three seconds to burn through 16 millibuckets so yeah i we should be fine okay so let's go down to the oh wait hold on before i do that i forgot about the europium part of this okay so let's get that mm, tank yes and we'll get a bus. All right. Let's go down to the tanks again. And we will set this up. Oops. Okay. So Neo Dim. Neo Dim. Oh. Actually, I don't think it really matters if I put this in here because it already is set to store in the tank down there. Okay. Anyway. Oh, no. Home. Okay. Underfloor. Oops, this way. Nope, wrong way. I really need to add a new world, a world anchor to this area over here now. Okay, so that being said, we are going to need interfaces. Right? And we're going to need three interfaces, of course, for fluid. Two, three. Four, okay, it's four, whatever. Did I grab them? No. Okay, there we go. Um... Guess we'll do it like this. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's the output. So up here, we're gonna put the hydrogen, right? And boom, boom. So before we do anything else, I want to make sure that this no, wrong, wrong button, wrong hammer. I mean, there we go. So that won't turn on until we, I tell it to. There. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. Now we still need to get the conduits out here do it do it do it do it okay we are gonna need more of that so why don't i just go ahead and craft up a oh, craft up a slew of emmy conduits so uh, that crafts we'll place down the conduits we have now and i th think we're gonna run out all right okay I guess I can just hold it. Yep, right now. So you can. I can just hold it down. Oh, that was quick. 
I guess what we, that's what we get when we have an upgraded assembler, huh? Alright. I think everything... No, I uh, should... Whoops. Okay, so we need... There we go. Alright, is that feeding in fluid? Check. Check. Alright. And... Bada boom. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. That might be a good episode video title icon. All right, so we are. Oh, wrong button. We are. Well, it's gonna be outputting, or is it even? Oh my God! Look at that. That's so pretty. Oh my God! I love this version of this reactor or Greg Tech. Oh man. So it looks like it's cooking right along. It's heated up. So it's going to keep running until we run out of neodymium. Which honestly, I should probably just request some more neodymium because I don't... I'm probably going to be logging off after this, as I would anyway. And that will give us a great deal more of neodymium. And the question is, how much power is this sapping from us? Eh, not that crazy, honestly. In fact, I don't even think we're really hurting for power. Because look at that, it's going like... It goes down to 483, and then 484, 485. Yeah. 43 again. I mean, we're doing pretty good, I think. Now, how much seropium are we getting now? All right, so we, we barely have a bucket. We have half a bucket. All right. So that's not a huge deal. Now, with the neuropium in our foreseeable near future oh you know what um yeah you know what i'm just going to complete that quest because we did that is it 8:44 dark yeah okay so we've done that quest um so that opens up Naquadria. Naquadria is a lighter and unstable Naquada isotope. Naquadria is used in the production of UV components of fusion reactor mark two and infusing neutronium. Each piece of Naquadria also makes four times more power. Oh. All right. So now I know, I think there is a way to get Naquadria from what stuff that we've been making lately. Uh, was it the Naquadria dust or was it Naquadria sulfate? Okay, there we go. The acidic salt. Wait, do we have a sulfate? Okay, we don't have the sulfate dust, right? We need to process the acidic. Are we not? Wait, are we processing the Aquadria? The Aquadria. Uh, Where's brain? The aquatic, the acidic Naquadria solution? Or Naquadria, oh, Naquadria solution. Enriched Naquadria, wait, wait, hold on, what? Naquadria solution. Oh, okay, I guess we never did process the waste yet. That's what, that's my, what it, that, that might be what it is. There we go. Um, so, we, yeah, we need to process the waste, and we should probably distill it. So that's a good thing. Now, what is this gallium sulfide? What is that going to do for us? So electrolyzer. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. Free gallium. All right. So a distiller might be good to get started. So we got a distiller tower, and we're going to need... Not that much in the way of blocks, but let's go ahead and get like 64 or something like that. Nice, a solid number, right? And we're going to need output bus. I don't think we're going to need too much in the way. Uh, yeah, so we can use LV. Uh, no, not output bus, output hatch. There we go. Uh, so three of those, and we are going to need a input as well as a bus 
We're gonna need a input, right? And we're gonna need a bus for the item to come out of, right? There it is. Okay. All right. So that is getting cooked up. That might take a while. The quadri, uh, the neodymium is just about finished up. Our second batch of it, anyway, because I requested another five. Oh no, you know what? It's still, still crafting. The first batch as well as the second batch. Okay. But uh, our EBF over there is like cooking it at like two seconds per, so that shouldn't take too much time. I will probably want to make a dedicated um, EBF for it. Now, europium, does that need anything heavy to smell it? Okay, it doesn't need too much. So. So I might as well just go for an MV one. Although I don't even think I don't even think I have a uh, a free spot. Actually, I do. I have to find it, but I know I have somewhere in my base a free MV slot because I just passed it earlier in the episode. Question is though, is that going to craft quickly? It might. Yeah. Okay. There it is. It's crafting. All right. Cool. So let's get a let's get a mold. I mean, we don't. Really, really don't want to turn all of our europium into ingots. I'm just doing it for the quest. Because I think... Well, I don't know. We might need it for wires, it looks like. Cable... Yeah, I mean, cables and such will come into use later, but not right now, I don't think. Okay, so let's get that mold, and... Let's get a book. Book it. Book it. There we go. Book it. And we'll get that... E U R Europium. We're just gonna. Well, I guess we we're not gonna really borrow. It. Well, yeah, because I I can turn it back into fluid easily. I have a extractor somewhere. Um. Oh god, I hate how these cables are like arranged. Sometimes I really need to figure out a better way of managing all that. I know there's one around here somewhere. A free spot. Oh, here we go. No, not that. Oh, I know I passed one somewhere. I might just say, I might just say screw it and go to that one spot that I saw. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it here. I'm only needed for the quest anyway. Well, okay, that gave us more than I was hoping for, but um, I will fix that. I will get this turned back into fluid. Uh, right there. Okay, so there's our quest. You're ended. What was that quest about? No, nope. oh, dang it. Uh, Enderium. Oh, well. Okay, let's see the progression page. Okay, we still need to get into the boards. There's a Rubium ingot quest. There's a fusion coil quest. Turbine quest. We need to get to doing that. The Quadria, Americium, that stuff in our near future. Otherwise, though, I think we can start looking at crystal chips next. Because the crystal chips do require europium and the emeralds to make. Oh. oh. Okay. So wait a minute. Okay. So what we. Okay. I think. Oh, let's see. You must. Your first few raw crystal chips must be grown in auto clay from liquid europium and exquisite emeralds mixed with olive oil. After the first few, you can smash them into pieces using a forge hammer and duplicate them with bacterial sludge. Okay. Bacterial sludge. Biomass, bacteria. Bacterial sludge. Okay, so that shouldn't be too hard to get, bacterial sludge-wise. You will need an autoclave in the cleaning room. Interesting. Okay, so wait. Make sure I'm not misunderstanding. Oh, we still need the sterile clean room. That's what it is. And that requires 
Trinium and these circuits. So we are going to need to go the long way at first. So we'll get into the europium and the parts to the to the, the chip parts to the actual chip. And then once we get the units here, then we can get into the crystal. Was the crystal? Yeah. So the crystal processors. Although we are going to need to get into this, which means we need that. Yeah, I shouldn't be... Oh, you know what? I think I automated this, but I never pulled it out of the system. So let's look at that. Uh, yeah, here we go. I actually made these off camera at some point. Oh, we need the foil. Foil, platinum, there we go. Yay! Okay, that's done. So I will get these extracted down in Europium again, and I will need to get that Europium back. Oh, crap. I need to find it. Oh, it shouldn't be too hard to find because I put it on the top of a tower. Anyway, um, we can get into that. Now, we are going to need to get into Captain K at some point. We're kind of putting this off because it is a big chain. Um, but hopefully it shouldn't be that crazy. Where is Captain K? I think the dust. No. Where is the beginning part of it? Oh, here we go. So it's the pyrometal pyromelolytic dye and hydride dust. But this. And that's gonna be a whole chain here. So we need to figure out what to do from there. I will probably at some point do a write-up of where to start and where to end and all that. Okay. Um where are we on time? Okay, so we're basically almost done. So I'm gonna tank and europium. Okay, so we got two buckets going for us now. Uh not where I wanted to go. I'm gonna get back. Okay. Let's grab the fluids out of here. Alright, and then we'll come back over here to I think it was somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, I got some spare trim in there. Uh, let's get that. Ah, oh, gotta get that out of there. Okay, so let me get a tank. I don't think I have a trinium tank waiting, waiting around. So I'll just grab one here. There we go. Yeah. I'll have to figure out how to put that trinium what to do. I might, I might just delete this trinium because of the whole NEI stuff. Actually, you know what? That's all I'll do. Let's get that erupting out of there, and then we will delete the trinium. Bye-bye. Okay, so we got the erupium back. Let's go back home. Let's go into here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so erupium is back there. Our neodymium should be sm still smelting up. Check. It might be stuck because it's making some other batch right now. What is it making? I think it's this one. It might... Output bus. That's the input bus. Oh, it's still making it. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. That's going to be smelting us some europium. And after that's done... Well, I'm not sure. We'll probably get into the doing the chips, like I said. Um, but, yeah. We do also want to get the plasma turbine stuff going. Because that, allegedly, would give us 16,000... EU per tick base. Each rotor holder above IV adds 10% efficiency. I don't know if that's the exact number that we'll get without making the item because NEI has been weird before. Like with the engine that said that it would make this, but it's really a different number entirely with the whole octane gas engine thing. But um, yeah, that should be interesting to get into. Uh... Is there, what does the quest say about this? Okay, so the quest book does say 16,000 when using an IV rotor holder. So I'm assuming, if I can spell it right, rotor, oh, not that. Um, where is the one, that's tungsten and steel. Ah, uh, it's buried. okay, here we go. So it's Osmeridium, and that's a good turbine power efficiency combo, I think. 
I mean, Osmeridium has the most durability of... Well, there are going to be better rotors here. But the question is, how quickly do they deplete? Magnalium? Because, I mean, look at that. 205 power and has 175,000 durability. That's a pretty good ratio there. Um, that one has 200,000 and looks even better. HSE, hmm, that might be a good one to go with. I don't know, because Osmeridium used to be the only one to go with when I was dealing with other Nomi factory packs, so we'll see. I'll figure out what to do. In any case, um, yeah, I am going to call it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.